Okay, so I haven't posted a video about um, my locks or my growth or anything in a long while. Um, kind of just with ghost. Either way, I figured I would get on here and share um, like some updates on my locks and then life things, I guess. So if you want to see that, keep watching. <laughs> Okay, so right now I'm just in my room and as you can see it's grown so much I think this is like my eighth year I'll double check that at some point to see when I posted my first video about um, my locks when um, when I started uh, sharing and like doing other people's locks and whatnot I'm not doing locks anymore for anyone else unless it's like close family or friends but when I pull them all to the front, they are uh, like right here. So still like at my diaphragm. Uh, in the back, they are almost waist length, just above or below waist length. Then I still have I still have these problem areas in the front. Um, this took a while because like, I don't know what was going on. They just, I don't know, in the front, it just wouldn't, they just wouldn't lock for a little while. And it didn't start out that way. I think it just kind of happened because I had initially had them all locked up. And then once they all got locked, maybe one fell out or something, or maybe it just came loose. I'm not sure, but at some point, I realized that I had hair in up here in the front, like four areas that just would not lock. And it's took him, taking me forever. So these are sh shorter. Be This one is shorter. Not because like I cut it or it fell out, but because I, it just took longer for me to get it to lock in that area. And then there's this one right here. So I have two on this side that are like that. And they're right here in the front. And then I have one, um, well, this one, I did, this one, I like pulled the end off. So this one took a moment to lock. And then I have another one that I just wrap around it that's shorter. And it still won't, I don't know, just, it won't stay. This is the most permanent it has looked since I have been trying to get it to stay, so. I don't know what that's about, but um, this is how I like keep it separated so that when I'm wearing my hair down, it doesn't look as bad, I guess. It's time for me to do a retwist. Like you can see some of this hair out right here that, that needs to be put back in the lock. And then here's some of my new growth in the front. And then in the back, it looks a little different. It's probably easier to see on the side, yeah. So that's on my new roof right now. So I'm about to do a retwist, actually. Um, but my longest one in the front is actually on the side. It's so weird. Is this the one? No, nope, that's not it. Let me see if I can find it, because I'm I'll be pulling on it all the time. And it's like right here on the side, this one right here on the side. I don't know why, but it's all the way down here, like all the way down to, let's see, I have shorts on. So it's like right here. That is so weird. I don't even know why it's like this, but this is the only lock that's like this. That's crazy. So let's start doing a wee twist and then I'm gonna share, and no, I'm sorry, not a retwist, a retightening, because I do still do them myself. I did get them done once by a loctician. Um, she was a certified sister loctician in Michigan, and um, that was just for my wedding when I got married. So 
since then though i've had it done one other time so like twice the whole time i've had my locks um have i ever had anyone else do them it's about time for me to have someone else do them regularly because this is a lot at this stage it was a lot easier when they were shorter but now that they're longer i don't know it's more exhausting than it was before so but i'm gonna do it again this time so while i do that i'll share the rest okay so oh you know what i don't have well i do i can use this so when i am retying them i usually work my way from the back to the front uh, hold on a sec Just put it up loosely in a bun because I don't know it just seems easier for what I'm doing in any case and then I take one out at a time what I should have done was spray my hair with this now what's in here is not the protective from Tilly Wajid I use it all so what's in here right now is just some water and oil and I put a little bit of this hair lotion in there probably shouldn't have done that feel like um my scalp doesn't really like it right now but I had run out of stuff to use and so I still use the same two tools I still use this and I use this so anyway um so I stopped doing talks and then I started just maintaining my own and my cousins for a while. Um, I shared videos of hers, I think, at some point on here. So I'll link that video uh, so that you can see it if you like. Um, but then she cut hers and, and then I was also doing... Um, her boyfriend's locks and she is now maintaining them for him so I started driving uh, like Lyft and Uber and whatnot and then it was it was pretty good money like this was a, a year or two before the pandemic and it was pretty good money then and then when the pandemic got started you know we all had to stop for a while and people don't work but then when they opened it back up then I went back to doing that and that was good money then so I didn't have to work a nine to five um, after I recovered some from my car accident which was great for me because I liked the freedom and the flexibility of being able to get up and just work when I wanted to or not work if I didn't want to or if I wasn't feeling well or you know if you have like a doctor's appointment or errands you need to run and Nine to five work just gets in the way of that. It's not really designed for you to be able, it's work-life balance sucks when you work a nine to five in short. So I did that for a while and then I got married and I didn't work anymore. And then, well, I didn't work for like a year. And then after a year, we had debt and it was like, okay, we gotta, I gotta, you know, I gotta go back to work. So that is what I am doing now. And I absolutely abhor it because it takes up so much of my time. You guys, you guys see the lint in here? Like that part of having locks, I don't like. And it's not everywhere. It's in like, it's in the problem areas that most people usually have uh, with locks in the back on the nape of the neck, like wherever you're laying is usually where it is. And that's where the lint in my hair is. Um, 
And I don't like the way that looks, but I'm not gonna dye it and I'm not gonna cut it. So, I guess I just have to deal with it now. <laughs> Nine to five just, it takes up too much of your time. So I would like to go back to working for myself again at some point, but I don't really know how I'm gonna do it. We gotta take care of the debt first. Um, it's not gonna be feasible to do it if you're carrying debt. Really don't want to be taking chances. Um, and then potentially end up having to having your situation be worse than when it was because you're carrying more debt in addition to trying to start and maintain a business. So we're going to pay off our debt first. I have about 15000 if I round up, it's $16,000 um, in student loan debt that I'm going to get rid of first. And we have a few credit cards. Well, I take that back. Not a few because I have eight myself. And then my husband has the rest. So, um, took care of my credit card debt first. And I got rid of it. And I was so happy that I got when I got rid of it. It was like a weight was lifted off me. But you still have to still have to take care of the ones that um, we ran up the year that I wasn't working that are in my husband's name. So that is the next step. We have about eight thousand to go, which I guess isn't really bad, but it's more than I feel like spending right now. Um, I'm going to show you guys one of these. How I use this tool. Anyway, that was not supposed to be the topic of conversation for this um, video, but this is like the first row done. So the videos got too long, so I'm going to stop here and do a part two. Please like, subscribe, and comment if you made it this far and turn on the notification bell um, so you'll know when I post the next video. Thanks for watching.